Hi, my name is Brandon Poole, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of the Aviti system today. Uh, this demo is naturally quick because the Aviti is extremely easy to operate. From the demo, you will see how quickly you can train even your newest staff members to prepare and run the instrument properly. One, one of the most important features of the Aviti system is flexibility, and that starts with a dual flow cell design. Each flow cell operates independently, so you can start each side whenever you want, which is like having two sequencers in one instrument. So you can start your counting assay on side A early morning, uh, and then start your whole genome assay on side B the next day or the following day. Operating them flexibly like this doesn't have any effect on the total runtime of each flow cell. The Aviti operating system will not only walk you through each step by alerting you that you've properly completed it, but it will also show you where you are in the process with these used breadcrumbs. We begin by selecting side A and entering the name of the sequencing run. Then select the protocol that you previously designed and upload it using our run manifest software. In this case, we are using the 2x75 ADEPT file. Now recall that the Aviti system provides two very simple options for the library preparation. We call them the ADEPT and ELEVATE workflows. The ADEPT workflow is the simplest solution. It uses the output of almost any library preparation as the input for the ADEPT step. Our ELEVATE workflow is just as simple, but allows you to incorporate our proprietary adapters and unique dual index pairs during your library prep. It's entirely up to you. Next, you have the additional flexibility of saving time by reducing the amount of data you scan when you know that you won't need all the reads in the run. The default in the system is always to run a full scan of the flow cell. But you have the flexibility and ability to manually adjust the amount of data you scan for time savings. At this point, the Aviti operating software is telling you to you're ready to go to the next step because the right arrow has lit up to purple. So press it to advance to the next screen. So now the software will prompt you for the next steps, which will be removing the sequencing and UWB model. As you can see, this is the UWB model and the reagent cartridge. You'll notice that the, at the top of the sequencing reagent cartridge, there are five locations, uh, library, uh, I1, I2, R1, and R2. I1, uh, this stands for index one, index two, read one, and read two. Each cartridge is preloaded with the primers for the elevate workflow. If you want to use the adept workflow, you simply swap the tubes here. With a set of four, we provide with every sequencing cartridge. You never have to buy these separately. It's as easy as, it's an easy access pokey oak design. And then the library loading up here uh, opening is at the top where you would load your library. When you, generally when you arrive at the sequencer, you will bring the sequencing cartridge from the lab bench in these baskets that you see here for, each, for easy handling and fit into the Aviti. The cartridge takes less than three hours to thaw in a 20 degrees uh, water bath, and if you actively regulate the bath, it can easily take less than two hours. You have, you have already prepared the cartridge and diluted your, lo your loaded library before you are here. Uh, once you insert the reagent cartridge back into the instrument and the universal wash buffer, you then close the door. You will see the software confirms that you've completed the step with the green check mark. Uh, once you've gotten the green check mark, please also confirm uh, with your checklist that you've loaded your library into the reagent cartridge and that the correct primer tubes are in the reagent cartridge to make sure that you have the right elevate or adept uh, workflow. Once, once you complete that, then press next. You'll then be prompted to remove the waste from the existing run. You will unscrew this cap and remove and dump out the waste, replace this bottle, close the door, and then press next. At this time, the system will prime, uh, filling, removing all air, and setting up the run, uh, the configuration for the run. Uh, this will take about 15 to 17 minutes. Uh, this time, uh, this is a demo, so it will be a lot faster. Now that it's completed, we're going to get access to the flow cells where this door will come up. And then at that point, we're going to swap with your new flow cell. Okay. So you'll un unclamp the flow cell, remove the existing flow cell, get your new flow cell, put the new flow cell in, reclamp that flow cell, 
confirm that you've received the green check mark. Close the nest. To which then, once successfully closed, you'll be prompted to move to the next step. This next step is just for you to confirm that everything you've wanted set up is set up correctly. So you'll be presented with the run description, uh, cycle conditioning, as well as the adapter elevate library uh, workflow selected. Uh, you'll be able to see your flow cell sequencing cartridge and buffer bottle lot number, expiration date, and serial number. Once you're happy with how everything looks, you would then start your sequencing run. And then you'll, the sequencing will begin and take roughly uh, 24 to 48 hours, depending on your run. Thank you.